Now in this video, I will show you how to seamlessly connect your DBot T20 Omni Vacuum to Apple HomeKit all by using a Homebridge plugin and giving you a new cleaning dream team. Hello and welcome to my channel which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So we did buy the bullet and upgraded from the Roomba 675 to this the Ecovacs DBot T20 Omni. And in short, it's been a fantastic cleaning companion. Now it's definitely taken the hassle out of cleaning and giving us more time to enjoy the things we love to do. Now with its advanced technology and sleek design, this intelligent cleaning device does come with smart navigation. It navigates your home effortlessly with its intelligent mapping, obstacle detection, and auto mop lifting. Then you have multiple cleaning modes. You can choose from a variety of cleaning modes to suit your needs. This device has you literally covered. Then we have the all-in-one station. Now say goodbye to manually emptying the dustbin or even mopping the floor by yourself. This device features a self-emptying base that automatically empties the robot's dustbin into a larger container. Plus allows the device to do hot water mop washing. Basically, no need for frequent disassembly and manual washing. Then we have the voice assistant integration. Now this device by default is compatible with your popular voice assistant from Amazon, Google, and it also has its own call eco. And in this video, I will also show you how to make it work with Siri as well. Last but not the least, this product is totally a wife pleaser and I did win the husband of the year award. Now, just for disclosure sake, this product is not yet available in Brazil and I purchased it with my own money when we were on a summer holiday to Dubai. Also, you want to take note firstly on the all-in-one station size. It's big. It needs a sizable place to install as well have space for the vacuum to move in and out based on the cleaning mode you have chosen. Secondly, for some reason, in certain time intervals, this device goes into a sleep mode that you need to press the network button to resync with your Wi-Fi network. I'm not sure what the problem is. And thirdly, depending if you need it or not, you can disable Eco the Assistant by tapping on the Enter Smart Cleaning, then tap on the gear icon, which is located on the top right hand corner, tap on Eco Voice Assistant, and there you can disable the service. But I'm not sure if the device is listening or not to all our conversation. Now, with so much of technology that this device comes with, it does not have a direct home kit integration. And that's where Homebridge comes to the rescue. And by leveraging a specific Homebridge plugin, we are able to make our vacuum a first class citizen in our home kit world. And if you're new to Homebridge, it's an awesome tool that bridges the gap between non-HomeKit devices and your Apple Home ecosystem. For example, like our trusty Depot T20 Omni. So for all of this to work, this is what we will need. One, make sure you have your Depot T20 Omni or any other Depot model connected to your network and is up and running within the app. And to enable the integration with HomeKit, we will be using HomeBridge running on a Synology NAS Plus, I also have links in the description to install Homebridge on multiple hardware platforms. So without any further delay, let's jump into this tutorial. Now, before we go ahead and install the plugin, let's take a quick look on the plugin information. Number one, this plugin requires an active internet connection. If not, it will not work. So it basically uses your email credentials that you use to create your user account within the Ecovacs app. Secondly, on the features, these are the supported devices. And if you look closely at this list, you see that the T20 Omni is still not yet supported. However, it uses the same JavaScript library to expose the device. So it does work uh, well within HomeKit as well as Homebridge. And then it also gives you these additional features such as speed control as well as predefined areas. Now to get both of these features working with an Apple HomeKit, we will need to use another companion app called Eve for HomeKit where you can see 
additional device features available within Eve app and not in the Apple HomeKit. And we'll definitely see it in this video as well. So I'm gonna break it down into two sections. The first plugin configuration is just to expose three switches, which is uh, to turn on drying, uh, turn on charge, as well as turn on the D-Bot. Very simple configuration using your email and password. And then from there, we'll go into the advanced configuration if you want to uh, add in the speed control, as well as predefined areas as scenes within the Apple Home app. So let's go ahead and now install the plugin. So I'm gonna access my dashboard, I'm gonna go and open up Homebridge, I'm going to plugins, and I'm going to be looking for Dbot. It's a verified plugin, let's go ahead and install it. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on continue. Now this is the user interface to add in the country code, username and password that you created uh, during the Ecovax app setup. And then you will also see these device settings, the polling interval, the device ID and label, and these are, these are the optional settings. That's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put my country code. Since I'm in Brazil, I'll be using BR. And there's a link to all of the available country codes just in case you don't know which one to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly go and put in my information. Next, I'm gonna click on save, and then I'm going to go and restart the home bridge service. And now I'm gonna click on save, and then I'm going to go and restart the service. Let's go back to status, give it a couple of seconds and you'll see that it will check in into the Ecovax cloud services, pull in the device information and expose it to Homebridge. So there we are, it has logged in successfully into my account. It has found the vacuum, which is called DD, and all of the device features is also exposed. So now if I go to accessories, you'll see that it's got the switch, two switches, as well as the charging, as well as the switch to turn on cleaning. So now if I go to Apple HomeKit, you'll see that the switch is available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up this page and just within Homebridge, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on clean and the vacuum is on the other side. And then I can stop it. It stopped, now I can go and click on go to charge. It will find the all-in-one station and then it will go back to its home position. So we know it works. And then from here, it will go ahead and empty the inbuilt dustbin into the all-in-one station. So just like that, very simple configuration. We can see that within Apple HomeKit, you can get the three switches, the clean, the air drying, as well as go charge. Now, what if you want to go in add in more features and you want the robot to go and clean specific rooms and use the features that come along with this fantastic Depot T20. Now to do that, let's go back to the plugin configuration and we're going to go into predefined areas to get into that information depending on the model you have you can see it within homebridge during the logs now in this model somehow it's not available so to see those values what we're going to do first is we're going to go to plugins we're going to go click on this icon here and we're going to go ahead and install the better version and then from there it will extract the room information that you set up within the app so it's very important you set up this room information within the app so it's able to expose all of those values correctly. So I'll go ahead and install the beta version, click on install. Now whilst that is installing, what we're gonna do is, we will see what is the, where that information is available. So you have to go and look within map spot area info. And once we have that exposed, we'll go ahead and add in that advanced configuration. Click on close, and I'm just gonna go ahead and restart information. Now you just wanna do this only to get the room ID. And once you get that, we can go back to the official release. So when I go back to status, it will tell you you're using a better version and you will see that it, it populates a lot more information on how the device is connected, the battery percentage, everything. Now the value we need to go and see is this one, map spot area. So what I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go ahead and open a website called json.lint. It's a handy tool to format JSON code. I'm gonna hit validate JSON. So now these are all of the IDs. That's how my rooms are set up. So if I use one of these IDs and ask the Dbot vacuum, it will go to this specific location. That's how it is. Now, once we go back to the configuration, we want to go in, add in the 
this code manually into the configuration. So we're going to go to device, I'm going to copy all of this code and I'm going to go to home bridge. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete my username and password. Then we go and paste the code. So you go into config, comma, enter and paste. And then what we're going to do is click on save and we're going to go back to status and we're just going to get in the first value is the ID. So if you go through the logs above, I'm going to copy this. This is going to paste it below over here. Validate JSON. And this is the ID. So I'm going to take name, copy this value, go back to Homebridge, go back to config, I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to update its name. And before I go and configure those rooms, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go put back the username and password, click on save, and then we're going to restart the Homebridge service. Now I'm going to go ahead and save the config. And I'm going to go back to plugins. I'm going to update. So I go back to the original version, the latest version. Once that's completed, I'm just going to restart the Homebridge service. So now once that's completed, you'll see that you won't see that mop start information over here. That's only available in the beta version. So if I go back to plugins, if I go now to settings, and if I go to device settings, you'll see that now I've got additional features enabled within the plugin by pasting that code manually. I have this option of showing the air dry switch. Yes, supports through detect. And in the predefined areas, we'll just go and add in two rooms. So in my case, I have six rooms mapped. I'm just gonna add in two rooms just for this video's sake. Go back to home bridge. I will select the area type as spot area. The ID, I'm just gonna choose zero and one. So zero, then I'm gonna choose another ID and one. Now, if the log provides a name, you can go and populate that ID, spot area ID information based on that value that you get within the map, map spot areas, okay? So this is the information you need. So in my case, it's numerical. If yours is alphanumerical or just alphabets, so use that value. So I'll go back over here and then I'm just gonna click on save, going to restart. So it does log in into the Tbot account is found my device. However, if you go to accessories, you'll see that it's got the clean switch, go to charge, the charging, as well as the air drying. You don't see the additional features, not even the rooms. If I go to Apple HomeKit, that's the same information I see. You still don't see that additional information. So that's why from this point onwards, let's go ahead and open up the Eve app do the advanced configuration there and come back into Apple Home app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Eve app. I'm gonna to go to rooms and within the default room, you'll see all of the additional features exposed for that Teapot T20 vacuum. So I can see the max speed, the predefined areas, the true detect and the power as well. So if you go and change any of these values right now, it will trigger the Teapot and that's not what we want right now. What we want to do is create scenes and then call it in Apple Home app. So I will go to automations, scroll all the way down. I'm going to create a new scene. I'm going to add actions, scroll all the way down. And then we can select max speed or predefined area. In my case, I'm going to use predefined area. I'm going to enable clean and then I'm going to, since we have zero and one set up, I'm just going to set up one. I'm going to tap add. Now you can test it, but I don't want to do it right now. I want to do it from the Apple Home app. You can add more action. So I could go ahead and increase the max speed for this vacuum off and on. I'm going to put on, add, I'm going to click next. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it DD done. Now, once that is completed, I'm just going to go ahead and see if it's available within the Apple Home app. So there it is. So you can see that the scene has been created. So let's see what happens when I turn it on. It works. And if you can see the, the fan speed has increased as well. So using the Eve companion app, you can have this working correctly within Apple Home app. It's doing that predefined area, which is just that front area out of our front of our bedrooms in front of the dock. And then what I can do is again, I can stop it within Homebridge. I can send it back to charge. 
I think it's pretty cool when it it goes and and uh, finds its location and reverses back into the all-in-one station. You can see all of the sensors working, and then once it backs up a hundred percent, it goes ahead and empties its uh, self-contained dustbin into the all-in-one dustbin. And just like that, you can now command your Dbot T twenty vacuum with Siri, and have it seamlessly work in HomeKit scenes and automations using the companion app Eve. The possibilities are endless, plus you can unlock its full potential within your Apple HomeKit ecosystem. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day and happy automation.